video and today i'm gonna show you guys how to paint your interior door panels from tan to black i just did one side and it came out good so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other side but i'm gonna show you guys how it looks like before and then i'm gonna show you how it looks like after i'm still painting some interior panels so yeah let me show you guys right now all right so this is how it looks like right now as you guys could see it's like tan and i the reason i'm going with all black is because this tan interior gets really dirty real quick and my interior is almost black so i kind of want to like black it out so i'm gonna go ahead and take this off and get it painted but this is how it looks like right now and i'm gonna show you guys right now how the finished product looks all right ready and there you go from that to that but yeah guys here you go this is the finished product i got it painted gloss black this is like interior paint you use for your car and it came out amazing it's nice and glossy not too glossy but it's glossy i left this chrome so it can stand out and i also painted this part right here i left that red so it could like stand out but yeah guys look at that that looks way better and it kind of flows with my interior now since it's like going like black if you can see over there it's tan i don't like that look so i went ahead and painted it black and i'm gonna show you guys how to paint this on your own how to take off this door panel and how to prep it and get it nice and glossy with no you know really nice and i just have this um wrapped in carbon so it kind of flows with the whole door but it came out really nice and i'm gonna show you guys that today and i am missing some door trim right here because i took that off because i'm gonna go ahead and paint all that black too so don't worry about that it's gonna get nice and covered so you guys can't even see that but yeah let me show you guys from the other side how it looks like all right guys that's how it looks like you see how it flows with my whole interior now like it's black and I'm gonna get uh, get this black too. I just have to prep it and stuff. My whole thing is black here and tan on top. So it's, it's my seats are like black with tan and stuff. But yeah, it's way better now. Pretty sure you guys could look at it on the better angle here. The black door looks way better than the tan one. And like I said, I'm gonna take care of all this on the top, make that too black, so. I'm just going step by step and did that first now it's the little pieces all right way better all right guys so now i'm gonna show you how to remove this door panel so you could um go ahead and get it painted we're gonna first start with removing this cover and inside here there should be two um screws that you take out with the screwdriver and there's another one right there a little cap you take it off there's a screwdriver right there and this you just pull up and disconnect it i'm gonna show you guys uh, exactly how it looks like i want to have everything off like i said just remove this one and then here you're gonna see two screws one right there one down here and i'll remove these so the door can become this i'm gonna take off this little cap too all right guys now that i got all the screws taken off i got this one off those bottom one off bottom one off and then this one on top off now i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and then disconnect it so what you're just gonna want to go ahead and do have this plastic trim puller that you just buy online if you you can use anything to be honest i just have this because i bought it as a kit and this for like pulling off any trim from your car so you won't damage it but you can use anything to be honest see pull that off now we're gonna go ahead and back of this just disconnect that little plug right there and i'll be back with you guys all right guys so now that we got this screw off this screw off and this thing off which i just did like a little plastic tab puller whatever a little tool and i just pulled this out and just disconnected this plug which is this one right here 
here. This is for your window switch, so you just put that there. Disconnect it, put this to the side. And you gotta remember to take off this screw that's right in here. You guys can't really see. Yeah. It's right in there. Has a little cover, just pull the cover off. And now what we're gonna do is, all I'm going to do is grab the door and pull it up and it should be able to just come out. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so we can get it nice and painted and looking like that. You guys can't see it that good, but yeah. So now after um, you disconnect those, uh, the control right here, little uh, window module, and you take off these screws right here, you just pull all the tabs out like that. And we should be able to pull it right up. I'll do that right now. See, um, now you guys see that I took off the door panel. You're gonna wanna take off um, these little levers right here. Really easy, really simple to take out. And I'll show you guys right now. And this little light over here switch. So for this one, all you wanna do is just um, pull it up and then just pull it out and this one same thing pull it up you pull it out and that's done all you need to do now is just take off that bottom plug down here it should be all right let me put in both hands for this one all right now that i actually cleaned off the surface with alcohol i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some interior paint and first coat should be light it shouldn't go that heavy so i'm just gonna go ahead and do it with some light coats first and i'll get back at you and as you guys could see i just laid off a uh, first coat which is a really light one you don't want to go too heavy because you might end up uh, making it runny and stuff but yeah it's gonna be my first coat and i'm gonna throw like at least five coats on this but yeah i'm gonna let this dry and i'm gonna hit it up again and as you guys could see, I just finished um, actually painting my whole dashboard. It was tan and I made it into black right now. It's kind of drying, but I just covered that up, covered my windshield and I took off these panels right here. So you won't get them painted. I covered everything, but it's already dry. I'm just, uh, I just added some more paint on top over there, but I'm letting it dry right now, but I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. So um i know you could um hold on so like i was saying i know that you could actually take off the whole dashboard and take it out and get it painted but to be honest with you guys i didn't really have time to do all that i kind of wanted to do it real quick and i wanted to um, show you guys that you could do it even without taking off the whole dash and everything so what i went ahead and did i covered this up covered these up covered this up covered that cover all this and like the keyhole right here and i went ahead and got everything cleaned up and i already had these uh black suede so i just left it like that and i went ahead and gave it a quick little paint um on everything i painted um just about everything here and you guys could see and it came out pretty darn good i'm gonna let it dry for at least another day so I could officially take all this off, but I'm just gonna leave it for now because I, I did do some fresh paint on the back. This is um, all done already. So it looks really good. Look at that, that looks beautiful. But yeah, once I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Like I was saying, I did also paint these doors. That's why this doesn't have anything, it's just metal. Because right now I uh, have the door cover here drying up at the house. And this side I already did it. Okay, you guys could see it looks pretty darn clean but yeah let me get back to you all right guys welcome back to the second part of my video like i said i transformed my whole interior from tan to black so i'm right here at this beautiful place right now this parking garage with some beautiful views of where i'm from but we got the g right here with the doors open butterfly doors just opened up the door so I could show you guys the finished product 
of doing my doors from tan to black. All right, guys, here we go. guys so this is the interior now as you guys can see uh let me take off my steering wheel real quick so i can show you guys exactly how it looks like it's kind of in the way but yeah okay so as you guys can see i painted all this black i used to be like this brown color like dark brown so i went ahead and painted that black so it could match with the whole black interior and i left this suede because to be honest with you, it looks fucking badass. Like black and then suede. That looks fantastic. So I, I kept that suede and then black, like gloss black. And I also kept this, uh, the bride cover here and the bride pillars too. So I left them because to be honest with you, they, they go with my seats and now they stand out like a lot more since it's black. And one thing I did do, I mean, that I didn't do was change the color of the roof the reason why i did that was um to be honest um i didn't do that because since i have these um like tannish and they, they kind of flow with the whole interior now like since they're black and then tan you know they kind of flow with it so i left it like that for now and to be honest with you i love how it came out these pillars and then it's like tan and then black and then i got black suede over here and then suede over here and the rest of it's all black so the whole interior looks way better now let me turn on the light real quick but yeah the interior looks way better with my diamond stitch carpets and then the whole thing's murdered out now this is like a wrap so it looks kind of like shiny it has like some type of like glitter on it and my boot and everything but yeah I fucking love how it came out. I couldn't be any more satisfied. And to be honest with you, if any of you are like want to do this, I highly recommend it. It like makes your whole interior look way better. Um, I didn't even have to take the dash out. Like as you guys saw, all I did was I just covered this up. I covered that up. I took this out. I took this out. All that's easy to take out. I took off that one. And then I covered the whole windshield in the front. And then like right here, I covered the things that didn't want to get over spray on. So all this centerpiece got covered. Um, the vents, I left them exposed, but I covered this, the suede. And I just left the uh, vents all exposed so I could paint them black so it could match. And I did cover this keyhole because I don't want no paint going in there or messing up this light right here. So I covered that and I just painted over it. I made sure everything is nice and clean. I used uh, rubbing alcohol to clean everything real good so the paint could stick and you won't get that nasty look on that paint. But it came out so good and I'm highly, really, really satisfied with how it came out to be honest. But yeah, I really recommend it for you guys if you guys want to do it. It's really nice. But yeah, um, 
as you guys could see i painted everything like right here on the sides too even on the bottom all that and it came out really good no regrets on that but yeah let me just show you a little view from the outside look at that so now it's all black and oh the car's really dirty i haven't even washed it i was about to go wash it but i wanted to make this video before the sun goes down because then the sun goes down and i have no good lighting but yeah i wanted to make this video because i'm pretty sure a lot of you would want to see how it looks like all black if you have a tan interior this is going to be totally worth it But yeah, guys, I am super satisfied with how it looks. Looks 10 times better. Look at that. Beautiful. And now with everything that's going black, like the whole black inside, like murdered out now with the bright pillars and everything. It just looks so good. One thing I am going to do is probably respray these because um these are pretty old. They probably have them for like two years already. And I need to clean them up. And um respray them so they can look like new again i'll show you guys i'll probably make a video for this how to like uh, restore your racing seats but yeah guys. but yeah guys i'm super satisfied with the whole black interior now now we got it murdered on the outside murdered on the inside fucking beautiful love it worth it easy to do and well worth your time just take your time on spraying your um your layers that way it doesn't come out nasty and on that note i'll just hold on but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button if you didn't then let me know why in the comments <laughs> but yeah i am definitely we're gonna come out with more content pretty soon and um to be honest with you um i just got my window motor because this window motor has been acting up and I've heard that those are like side of like signs that your window motor is going bad. So to be honest with you, I'm probably going to do a video on how to replace your window motor for any of you G35 owners that have this issue. I got you. I'm going to do a video on how to do that. Uh, I got some more content. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was really helpful for you guys. If you guys learned anything or if you guys saw um, get the courage to go from tan to black i hope this uh motivates you to do it because to be honest with you it's well worth it i would definitely do it again if i had to and yeah i hope you guys um have a nice day enjoy with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and let me know what you guys think about my tan to black transformation if you guys dig it if you guys are planning to do it let me know in the comments i hope i inspired some of you to do it but yeah thanks for watching like always stay safe fam and catch you on the next one peace